Hello Bakers, today I've got a big surprise for you. You see this? And this? So today we will talk this versus this. It's very simple. This code is coming from this machine. And this code coming from this machine. So what is the difference? One is single face. The other one is three face. You can see three faces and neutral. So today we will go very deep discussion into the differences between a single face mixer and a three face mixer and why you will use a single face over a three face and why you, you will use a three face over single face. So let's get to work. First thing we do, I have my two, two guys, my two technicians, they will connect these mixers onto power. Let's, let's take a look. Wow, now we are powered on. So this machine on my right hand is connected to a single phase power source. You can see here. And this on my left hand is connected to a three phase power source. So as I said in the beginning, when do you know to use a single phase or to buy a single phase machine? And when do you decide to use a three phase machine? Before we go into that, we will talk about that at the end of this discussion. Before we go to that, we want to, to show the differences between these two machines. So, this machine on my right has a single phase motor, okay, and it has conductors of 240 volts, but it has two capacitors as an additional feature, okay. This does not have, it has a three phase motor, it has 340 volts uh, conductors, but it doesn't have capacitors. So, the differences are simple. Three single phase motor, three phase motor. What it means is that this machine will do less work, but it consumes less than this. This machine will do more work, but it consumes more because of the work that it's doing. So, if I'm a baker, and I, I, my production is less than 500 loaves in a day, I would rather use a single phase machine. Why? Because I, will, I don't need to use much power. I, I just need to do a little job, and therefore, with a little power, with a little uh, consumption, I can be able to achieve my goal. But take a case whereby you are baking 20 hours in a day. Maybe your capacity is uh, 3,000 loaves, 2,000 loaves or so it would be wise to use this machine because it, it consumes more, yes, but the output is high, it has more power, three times much power than this, and therefore it will work very easily producing over 2,000 loads. And that is why if you force this machine into a lot of work, for example, to produce 3,000 loads, you'll be straining the machine, but this machine will be underutilized in cases where you are doing 500 loaves per day. So, as a baker, I would determine my choice in that case based on my volume of production because therefore I'll save power depending on which machine I, I choose. And so I hope after this presentation you can understand more and you can make better decisions as a baker when to get a single face machine and when to get a three phase machine. Both has, have advantages and they have also their own disadvantages. So thank you so much for watching this presentation and I hope that you will be able to make a better decision when it comes to choose your mixer. Remember to follow us as Bakewave TV on YouTube because we are having so much such content coming out which is beneficial to you as a baker. Thank you so much for watching.